I wanted to talk about a subject that actually came up twice this past week um, regarding clients of mine um, and their experiences with what are called nurse case managers or um, basically, a, you know, sort of a medical adjuster's arm, if you will. But I wanted to talk about these nurse case managers and really just sort of make it a warning for everyone who ever is either dealt with this or has to eventually at some point deal with this. They are not there to help. I, I, I can't express enough how much additional anxiety they create in an environment that already has enough anxiety. They're there allegedly to coordinate the appointments and help and, you know, make sure everything goes smooth. In reality, they're there to, in my opinion, influence the doctors. They're there to make the appointments when it's convenient for them, not the injured worker. And the last time that I checked, for the most part, every adult is very capable of getting the next appointment information directly from the doctor's office. Um, these, you know, they come off as crosses friendly and they want to have conversations. Next thing you know, they're asking you, well, how did the accident happen? And then they say things to the doctor like, you know, is this really, is this really necessary? Do they really need another four weeks of physical therapy? And it's always in terms of these questions as they are, you know, just in, in, in blatant regard trying to minimize medical treatment. I had a nurse case manager yesterday, Friday, cancel transportation for a client of mine because she felt the client was too aggressive with her. I, I, I have no words for that. No words at all for that. The client had just finished four days in the hospital after having neck surgery, neck fusion surgery. It's supposed to get out today. And the nurse case manager decides at the last minute Friday afternoon to cancel transportation. I mean, what do you do with that? It's hard enough to get these people to do their jobs in the sense of authorizing physical therapy or authorizing the treatment that the doctors are recommending or any other task like, you know, paying temporary disability on time. Then you throw in the mix this nonsense. And that's exactly what it is. Utter nonsense. And so my advice is if that you are dealing with a nurse case manager or if there's a nurse case manager involved, that you eliminate those individuals. And it's okay, you can do it respectfully, or I do it all the time. I just email the attorney and say, listen, don't need your nurse case manager, no longer allowed. And by the way, I don't have them talking to my client. Now, if they wanna go and they wanna talk and sit near the doctor afterwards or before or whatever, I, obviously I can't stop that from happening. But here's the, here's the key, the, the real key right? The time that you're seeing with the doctor, who remember is the doctor that the insurance company has told you that you have to go and see, that's your time with the doctor. It may be 20 seconds, but it's your time with the doctor, not the nurse case manager having a conversation with the doctor about you. So I tell clients all the time, they are not allowed in when you're meeting with the doctor. They wanna meet with them before or after, fine. Do not talk to the nurse case manager. You don't need them. And then I, like I said, I email uh, the adjuster and or the lawyer on the other side, don't need them, don't want them, uh, you know, get rid of them uh, because they are um, not there to uh, help at all. That's, that's my true advice as far as the nurse case managers. They are just not, um, not a good aspect of this otherwise seemingly very difficult situation, okay? So that's first and foremost, get rid of the nurse case managers.